Hi Aries, I hope you're okay. I'm Teresa, thank you so much for joining me. I'm doing a general reading mid-October for you. So let's see what's in store. And Aries, if you like the message in the video, please like, share and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. And I still running the October competition where you can win a birth chart reading with myself. So gain an astrological insight into who you are. I definitely recommend it. <laughs> you can win one of those. Um, all you have to do is become a subscriber in this month. And I'll announce the winner at the end of the month. So again, really appreciate it. Let's get into it. Let's see what's available for Aries. Okay, Aries, first card that came out. Three of Swords. So Three of Swords are indicating that there's been some sore points of reference in your thoughts so you're wanting to move away from something that is, is clouding your thoughts in, in a negative way you know this uh, uh, three of swords can, can indicate you know a third party energy but it's an energy that where there's um, you know the, the, the additional energy in your life is has got no you know, it's, it's creating some control over, over how you think about and how you feel about things. It has no real point um, in your life that it should be there. So you want to remove it. You're, it's highlighting the fact that there is, um, you know, this another energy in your life that shouldn't be in, um, shouldn't be there. So whether this is a partnership or, you know, this is a love connection, there is, a, you know, it could it could be a person, or it could be a subject, or it could be just a point of view that is, um, you know, not in line with your outlook. So let's see what else comes out here. Okay, the emperor. The Emperor is in your, your higher octave card. So in this situation, you wanted to um, have your presence known. You wanted to have your will known. This is, uh, you know, um, it talks about um, being able to create the things that you want in your life, being able to establish your point of view, your will in the situation. So with the three um, swords, you know, there is it almost as feel like there is I mean, some kind of threat you feel as though to your sense of stability, to the sense of the things that you've created. You know, there is um, you know, this antagonizing energy over what is yours. And it's as, almost as though you've got to defend what's yours. You've got to you know, um, keep in line with the things that you have uh, built in your life, the things that you've established, the things that you've created. There is a defense over over the things that uh, that you've done. Let's see what else comes up here. Three of Wands. So there is this need to connect with, you know, um, expanded energy. So there isn't so much focus on what what the situation is. You wanted to you know, get advice from things. You wanted to move things forward. You just need to see action, you know, because you don't want to stay in this you know, antagonizing situation. For you to you need to see movement, and you want to direct your your energies in that way where it's establishing what is needed to uh, project what you want. You don't want to stay in, in a very mindset situation where it's, it's almost as though it's imposed on you. You want to you want to transition into something else. You want to use your will um, and the things that you create, defending what you've created, expanding on what you've created by connecting with others that can help you essentially to um, move things forward. You need to see some action and some things. The devil. The devil is a major corner for Capricorn. So this could be quite a Capricornian type of situation where it's about power, where it's about control over some situations. You could be faced with some, um, you know, structures that are wanting to keep you in a certain energy. Or well, there is something about um, this, this situation where you're trying to move, you're trying to extend, you're trying to regain your sense of, um, you know, stability 
the things that you've created. There's a protection over you know, what you've created, um, but there's something keeping you bound to this situation because you know again. Um, it could be something that's imposed onto you, something that's projected onto you. There's a need to uh, break past or break the bonds of how this feels for you. Okay, Aries, let's get some spiritual messages we got. Situation. one more shuffle okay let's see what the first card is compassion compassion is so needed in some situations where it's um you've got to you know bring in another point of view Instead of it being, you know, uh, assertiveness or even sometimes point of aggression, you've got to, you know, um, you know, really stand strong in um, what it feels for you and how it feels for you and how things are being projected. Sometimes we have to consider why people are projecting things onto us in the way that they are. Where does it come from? Where is the source? of this projection of this need to interact with you in a certain way this is where compassion stands this is where we can we can see another point of view we can see why you know if somebody else is feeling as though they're be they're um, defensive and they're, they're projecting that the, the defensive energy onto you in a way that you now have to defend your principles it's trying to understand what the point of view of where you know, people are coming from where situations are coming from so then it creates a, a better way to maneuver in situations it's not based on negativity or you know um, a situation being highly strong it's, it's based on um, a, a sensitivity sensitivity can also be used in, in assertiveness Trust the universe, trust in the new universe. And sometimes it's hard for us to um, let some, some a situation come outside of our control. Or it's hard to understand why certain things have been placed in our life for, for us to interact with. It can be really hard to see um, you know, the bigger picture when the, the emotion, when the situation feels so concentrated on, on how we feel. But sometimes we have to expand past our own reasoning and, and trust that the process, the things that we're going through is for, you know, a higher um, reason, you know, a bigger picture um, relation. So this is where it is. Sometimes you've got to also listen to those inner messages, why are those things come in, why, why are we connecting to certain things, the signs, the, the reminders, uh, the sparks of, of ideas and, and where it leads. So sometimes you do have to trust more than the, more than the things that we can see, taste, and touch. Yeah, strength and guidance. Of course, this is for you, Aries. Of course, some things need our strength. Need everything, you know. And there's different ways that we can exert our strength. And again, this this, uh, this card, strength and guidance, it definitely speaks to having trust in trust in your instincts, having trust um, that you you have the ability to see things in a certain way. You can see things in, in a very intricate way, and you can you can maneuver, uh, strategize yourself in such a way that it creates it projects a strength that is needed for that situation. And then uh, you know have it again going back to connecting with others that can help guide some of the situations give you guidance give you advice and um, connect with those do not not having to do things all on your own or all in your own um containment you can connect with those who understand your point of view and can help with, with your direction okay aries thank you so much <laughs> and again if you like the message in the video please like share and subscribe and don't forget the petition become a subscriber take care bye